Good morning. It seems like a quiet day today, so I will try and show you how I set up my weekly planner. So let's go to July. Yeah, that's my July cover page and the calendar. And here I added a link to each week. So I just linked this text to the current week that I have. And so far, I've been successful in updating my weekly planner. I'm using it as a, like a journal or a memory log of what I did on that day. So, let's duplicate this page to set up another week. There, duplicate. Oh no, sorry, not duplicate. Add page after. And then current template. So there. I have another weekly planner layout. And for the stickers, I'm going to use these free printable stickers that I have from my website. So what I'm going to do is to turn these into good notes stickers. So first, let's um, duplicate and then crop. Okay, uh, let's just make this smaller so it's easier to crop. Okay. And I'm going to duplicate this again and then crop again. Okay, so that's easier to see. So, yes, yeah, so just gonna duplicate this again and then crop them into individual stickers. There, that's one sticker there. So it's a pretty sunflower grill and there's still some white remaining up there. So let's just crop that out. There. I'm going to add this to the sticker collection. Add element. Add one element to a new collection. And let's theme this sunflower girl sunflower girl okay, create and there so let's just delete that for now then duplicate this again crop let's get the second sticker To crop it again just to remove the outside the white background okay add element sunflower girl so when I go to the sticker collection I have now two stickers from have two stickers there so these are printable planner stickers that I made a few years ago and you can download them for free at our website so for the icons I think I'm just going to Drop them like, like uh, into a group of stickers. So I don't want to cut them out individually. I can do that later when I want to use them. So when I want to use one of the stickers, I'll just get it from the sticker book. Okay, let's say. So I'll get it from the sticker book. I'll just crop. Oops. 
the sticker that I like. So let's see. Let's use freehand. I want this coffee sticker. And I just drop it some more to be more precise. There. Oops. I think that's okay. Okay. So there I have a coffee sticker. So okay, I'll just cut up some of the other stickers and then come back. I also have these date stickers. I'm going to use that here. The dates next week are from 21, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 27. Okay, and let's just delete the rest. Delete. Then put it there, July 21. Add some more tape at the bottom there. And then just decorate. So I want to cover the underline, the line under July. Just write it there as I do videos on weekends. We have our wedding anniversary. We're going out on a date, so I'll just use this sticker. That's my planner for next week. It will look like this eventually and now let me give you a quick look at our august at my august um, planner so i made this free printable planner and i took a screenshot and used the cover page for august and then i inserted some pages that i made these pages don't have any links but i can share it with you i can share them with you just to visit my blog instead of a dated planner i tried using a black planner I'll show you this is just a planner template see so you can use this template any month that you like and then we we'll just have to add the links using the text. I wish you can add links using. Oh, this one is a weekly planner. I didn't write the dates, so just have to write the days. So dot grid and 
what else oh this is the other weekly planner i've been using this as my work planner i'll show you and it's really really messy when i use it but that's okay i think i will delete that page afterwards after i use it so this is my work planner sorry <laughs> and there i'm using it as a work planner as well all right so that's it for now thank you for watching and be planning everyone